Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we are here with part two of Hundo Head Honcho. I am trying to find the best 100 proof bottle on my bar. Now, I can't test them all at one time. That would be really, really hard to do. So, I've got to break it up into brackets. I've got five different brackets. They're going against each other. And whoever wins in that one bracket moves on to the next one. So, the winner. <sighs> this one took me by surprise, man. Benchmark bonded, man. It came through. Look, it put the rest of the competition to shame. Now, between the first one and the second one, if you watch that video, I kind of had to go back and forth a little bit, but Benchmark bonded came out on top. Now, I'm going to be sad if this one wins tonight. And I'll tell you why. That's because that's a stand-in. This bottle right here is a bottle that I got, uh, I would say maybe a year ago. It was sitting on the shelf. He actually had it for $41.99. This is the last bottle I was able to get from the Virginia ABC for cheap. I paid about 40 bucks for this bottle. I told you this used to be a $28.99 bottle. Now, Sean from Echoes of Eternity said, he asked the question, he said, are there any bottles that you guys don't want to open up for any reason? And I commented that it was the Henry McKenna 10. One, because it was the last bottle that I was able to get for cheap from Virginia ABC. And two, because it says 32409. And it was bottled in 2019. So I've had this bottle now for over four years. And that's close to my birthday. So I just kind of, you know, and I remember these bottles being so good. Like I said, they used to have a twist cap, no longer a twist cap. But if that one wins, and I know they're single barrels, so just bear with me. But if that one wins, and I got to crack that one open, I'm going to be sad. Hopefully they have the same flavor profile. Let me get the table set up. I'll be right back. As you can see, I've got six bottles up here. Uh, five against one again because Benchmark Bonded came up from the last bracket. So uh, Benchmark is going in the same place it was in the last time because it had the same letter on the back of it, F. But from my right to my left, your left to your right, you're going to have A, B, C, D, E, and F. A, Remus 3 coming in at 100 proof. You've got Smoke Wagon Small Batch coming in at 100 proof. You've got Cooper's Craft, a fan favorite, coming in at 100 proof. Uh, John J. Bowman, haven't done anything with the John J. Bowman in a while, man. It's been a long time. That's coming in at 100 proof, of course. Then you've got the Henry McKenna. Mac 10 is what I call it. My one of my favorites. I mean, after Knob Creek, that was absolutely one of my favorites. Then uh, a newfound favorite. You've got Benchmark Bonded. So like I said, A, B, C, D, E, F. Let's get it spun up. Let's get it started. Spinning around and around. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Let's get this thing spun up, man. I don't want to spill any bourbon on the table. Go back and check out the Wild Turkey video. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, they're finished, so we will get these off the table, and uh, we'll get started. I am I'm a big fan of blinds now because blinds will change your mind, man. Blinds will have you second-guessing yourself. Uh, blinds will have you thinking that you have a favorite when that may in actuality not be your favorite. Sometimes what I find though is in blinds, even things that don't perform well in blinds, they may be a favorite on their own, but just putting them side by side totally changes them. Let's get into the first glass. Hmm, that's a nice light grape. With a little bit of spice, a nice light grape, a nice light spice. This one seems richer. That one seems like it has a little bit of like maybe a orange zest, some type of uh, maybe even a, like a lemon zest, something citrusy. All right, glass three. This one just kind of smells old. <laughs> it does. It just kind of smells old. I'm not picking up any flavor notes. I do pick up the ethanol and a slight bit of apple. The more I stuck my nose into that glass, ethanol and apple. This one almost smells 
carry a great forward. With a light cream. Light like a light vanilla cream. There's a little bit of sour green apple on this one. Maybe a touch of citrus. Sometimes, like I said before, I get citrus, uh, like a grapefruit, uh, a little bit of a lemon. Sometimes I get lemons in like older products or, or um, cash strength products and like cash strength rise. None of these are rise, though they're all bourbons. This one smells like old wood for some reason. <laughs> I do not know why. And that's all I'm picking up. Maybe the nose is broke. Let's go into the palate, see if we can pull anything out. That hits. Wow. That hits harder than 100 proof. I mean, it went straight in my nose. But it was a light creaminess, almost like a, like a cream and strawberry cake. You know, like, like a little Debbie snack or something like that. Some type of like a light cream strawberry or raspberry cake. A little bit of like butteriness on the nose. One more time. And by the way, that was my first drink of the day. That's got a little bit more of that raspberry, strawberry, slight grapiness coming out of it with that cream. Um, but it's it's coming off thin to me. It's 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 drinkable, yes. But it's coming off a little thin. It's just I don't know. Let's see what this is. That one seems very balanced. There's a bit of spice in the back of the throat. A little bit of black pepper, maybe some char on the back. But that is more like vanilla Ford. That's 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 really good. Really well rounded. Mmm. That's coming off like a light grape juice. I mean, when I say I like grape juice, I'm just getting those grape notes and it's very light on the palate. There's a little bit of a raisin in it that I'm picking up. Um, so it's like a, a very light watered down grape juice, a little bit of raisin in it. It's not bad though. It's got some very good sweetness, like a white table sugar. Let's go on to glass number four. That's a little sharper. That's got a light, very light cherry note. It's a little sharp. It hit me in the back of the throat. No spice, but it was just like spiky on the back of the throat. A nice vanilla cream. I like that one too. Glass five. That one came off a little more viscous than glass one, but similar in the thin department. For some reason, it's like, it's just, it seems a little thicker than glass one. Glass one seemed thin and it drank hotter than 100 proof. Glass two seems to be drinking right at 100 proof, but just a touch thicker. It's almost like that white table sugar again, but it's like just watered down. Hopefully when I go back through, I'll pick something up. It is finishing with like a dark chocolate. And that's that's pretty much all I can say about it. Let's go to glass six. Glass six is a lot of citrus. That's orange citrus. Wow, that is orange citrus and char and like a light, very light maple. Maple syrup, maybe like a, like a, just a very light watered down maple syrup. Look, 
Time is precious, time is money. I'm not gonna keep you guys. I am gonna go back through these from my left to my right and try to come up with some more flavor notes, tasting notes. If anything new comes through, I'll put it in a video. Other than that, it's gonna be sped up. All right, I think I am finally ready to rank these things. So glass two is going in first place. Glass four is going in second place. One and three are actually so close, it's almost a tie. Glass one is going in third place. These two on the end, man, they just didn't do well tonight. Um, let me see. I don't know if it was drinking them side by side, but once I got into glass five, I started getting like this walnut flavor. So glass five is actually going to be in last place. So we've got glass two in first place, glass four, second place, glass one in third place, glass three in fourth place. I know it's confusing, but we'll get into the letters in a minute. We've got glass six in fifth place and glass five is sixth place. Now let's see what they are. So coming in, no, we're gonna go reverse. Last place is B. Wow, smoke wagon. Smoke wagon small batch. Coming in last place. Uh, what came in fifth? Fifth was C, Cooper's Craft. Now how Cooper's Craft Beat out. Smoke Wagon Small Batch. I don't know. Look, I know it's a fan favorite of you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of Cooper's Craft there is. Blondes maybe say otherwise. I don't know. But anyway. All right. So let's uh, see what glass number four is. Or fourth place E. Wow. Kind of glad it didn't win though. Because like I said, I didn't want to open that one. <laughs> I didn't want to open up my new McKenna, man. Uh, I've had that thing for over four years, and I, you know, I just really like it. Uh, let's see. Third place goes to A. A was Remus. The Remus did much better this go around. The reason why I think Remus did this, you know, much better this time is because I don't, this bottle wasn't open as long as Remus 2. I think it had something to do with Remus 2 being open as long as it was. Remus 3 is a beast. So is Remus 2. All right, let's find out what bottle number two is. D, D is John J. Bowman. You gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> In first place again. In first place again. <laughs> this is crazy. Ah, is bitch mark really that good? You gotta ask yourself. Let me get these in the place that they're supposed to be and I'll get right back to you. <laughs> I don't know how I was doing it. I really don't, man. I look, it's coming out on top. Tonight it beat out John J. Bowman, Remus 3, Mac 10, Cooper's Craft, and Smoke Wagon Small Batch. Um, it's just, it's performing. Look, in blinds, the thing is coming through. Now, I really like the Benchmark Full Proof. I think it comes across like um, candy corn. It's just got a really, really sweet, just palette on it. It's got a, it's got a very good nose. The nose is a little strong sometimes with that ethanol. But anyway, um, run out and get yourself a bottle. If it's in your area, just give it a try. It is not super expensive. Um, and make sure you stick around because like I said, this is a five part series, man. So I'm trying to find the best 100 proof bottle on my bar. So far, it seems like Benchmark is coming out on top. And with that being said, let the whiskey flow. Never run out unless you head it to a drop. Till next time.